this is JDS, another Sport Talks video, another one for the AFL Finals, and this one is the Melbourne vs Geelong game. This game was a very close game. Oh, I can't. Oh, it's, you can sort of say it was a close game. It was close early on, and then into second half. But it's almost seemed like Geelong. Almost like they were really nervous. They were duffing. They were stuffing kicks. I can't speak. They were stuffing up kicks. They were making poor decisions. Only really the good players that were stick that were they were playing well, I guess. They like Ablett, Selwood, not even Dangerfield didn't play well, but Blitzars, McDonald, um, that's what I can think of. But they they all did well and as a result, without any other players really to do anything. They didn't get anywhere in the game and they lost miserably in the end, really. It was. 75 to 46 in the end. And. If you watch the first quarter only, you would think Melbourne would win. Melbourne? You would think Geelong would have won. But they lost to Melbourne, as I said, 75 to 46. They were in complete control early on. Didn't take any, take anything from that control, and then Melbourne took the control back and then just completely ran away with it. But there was a lot of injuries in the game. Like there was so not injuries. There's a lot of big hits in the game, and Gorm was on the end of one. Um. Selwood got a few, both Selwood, Scott and um, Joel. But Dangerfield was playing very recklessly. Rec recklessly. Like giving away stupid free kicks. And Joel gave away one um, as Hawkins was going for a shot, which he most likely would have scored. Would have been really pathetic if he hadn't. But they were shooting poor the whole day, so it's. Wouldn't have been that surprised if you missed it if you think about how they were shooting that on the day. But basically, what happened? His ma as they were going off, his man just started to try and block him as he was running off, and he just basically went nut and grabbed him and threw him to the ground. And it was a turnover to the opposition. But it's not just like a random sudden thing from that exact situation. It was, because I realised throughout the entire game, every chance the Melbourne guy got, he would be elbowing and punching Selwood in the back, not enough to draw any attention though. And, as I would have as well, Selwood just got to the point where he was like, nut, stuff you, I ain't doing this anymore, and chuck him to the ground. And he got caught and gave a free kick away. So, I feel Melbourne deserved to win. I came in, I came into the game thinking Geelong would win, but Melbourne would give up a good fight and keep it close. Because I knew Melbourne were in good form, but I didn't expect them to be as good as they were. So, the game was... It started how I expected, with Geelong in control. But then... Something happened. I don't know what it was. I think it was maybe it was the fact that Geelong had complete control for the first quarter and did absolutely nothing with it. And then, like, they scored two points in that first quarter, I think. In that first quarter, in most, in like 10 minutes of con total control of the play. And then Melbourne went down the other end, won into 50, got the mark, went back, took a shot, and scored. But that was it, they didn't really, it was very poor, um, Geelong were very poor at kicking the ball into the 50 to a man. It was always, to the, it was not always, normally to the disadvantage of someone. But, I feel, they were pretty good through the midfield, until Dangerfield got it really today, he was, 
he was that poor. He wasn't really good at all. But if I had to pick man of the match, which I do every game, so I'll do it again now. Um, Lewis was pretty good for Melbourne. So was Gorn. So was both Selwoods for Geelong. Blitzars was good. The guy that was on Joel Selwood was good. But... I have to give it to Ablett because he was just amazing all game. So cool, so calm. Basically just the Ablett we've known for a decade. I've known to watch my whole life basically. He's just that something special even at the end of his career where people were saying at the start of the season his career is done, is finished. He can still produce games like that and show everyone he has a few years left in him. But that was the game. Melbourne won 75-46. This has been JDS. Thanks and bye.